welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today we're gonna make a delicious dinner. I'm gonna make a stuffed shrimp wrapped in bacon and I thought, what can I stuff it with that'll just make this over the top delicious? And I'm feeling a little Cajun today and so um, I'm gonna put my Cajun twist on it and we're gonna use andouille sausage. Oh my goodness. So these shrimp are gonna be stuffed with andouille sausage, wrapped in bacon and they are gonna come out fantastic. We're gonna season them with some Cajun seasoning too. So I hope it brings you along. I truly hope that if you like shrimp, you give me a thumbs up because these are gonna be fantastic. And uh, if you try it, leave a picture over on my Facebook page. Let me know how you liked them and uh, check out all the links that I've got you for you in the description box below. Okay, I've even got my mailing address if you wanna write me a note. All right guys, come on. For the seasoning part of this, I'm gonna use Wild Trees Cajun seasoning, but because it doesn't have quite enough kick for me, I'm gonna kick it up with some Zatarain's Blackened seasoning. And let's see, we want a teaspoon here. So we'll do a teaspoon. This is very low in sodium, so two heaping teaspoons. And <clears throat> that should do the trick, because all we're doing is seasoning the shrimp. And then, because Zatarain's Blackened Seasoning has a little bit more sodium, a little bit more kick, we're gonna put a heaping teaspoon of that. So it's two to one. It comes out phenomenal. If you're gonna do anything Cajun, it's delicious. What I have here is some applewood smoked nitrate free bacon. And I also have some already cooked, fully cooked andouille sausage, a jalapeno that I finally diced. I've peeled and debeaned these shrimp, but I'm gonna go ahead and butterfly them. And I hope that you can see that. Right where I took that vein out, you're just gonna carefully open it up without going all the way through. And even if you do all the way through, it's not the end of the world because you're going to be wrapping it in bacon. It's gonna hold it together. A little bit of the seasoning mix and all I did was mix uh, Zatarain's blackened seasoning, and I showed you that with um, Wild Trees Cajun seasoning, and then a little jalapeno down the middle, uh, about three half coins of andouille sausage, it's fully cooked. I wish we could get more of a Cajun, true Cajun andouille sausage here in Nevada, but boy, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen, so. We're gonna move this. It's kind of an awkward little deal until you wrap that bacon around it. And that's what's gonna hold this pretty present all together. So you wrap it, tuck it under, and wrap it again, and tuck it under. And then it's gonna go right on our baking sheet, or you can put these on the grill. It's about 20 degrees outside, so I'm not gonna do that tonight. But I lay my bacon kind of diagonal, so the next one is gonna be just perfect for that, and then you wrap, wrap, done. Little seasoning, and I'm just using the seasoning for this, nothing else, so here we go, little jalapeno. And they aren't hot, they're actually delicious. Um, no heat to them at all, but very, very good. So if you've never stuffed shrimp before, oh, I highly recommend this. Because it is without a doubt the most decadent thing you could possibly have next to a salad. Look at those. And leave that very end tail, nothing else, just the end tail for presentation. And whoo, bam, you are Look how pretty golden. these are. These are done. There was 15 in this pound and they're overstuffed. You could chop up your andouille if you wanted to and make it um, a little smaller for, let's say, smaller shrimp. Um, you've got about a teaspoon of the mixture left, and I'm just gonna go high and sprinkle down over the top. And uh, just on the top of the bacon, it's on the inside on the shrimp, and <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic. My husband has no idea. We are having a crab boil and salad and, uh, Yum, and then these Cajun stuff, shrimp, are Cajun inspired. Uh, you know, I'm not Cajun. But, booger, I bet these would pass in your book, I'm pretty sure, because I could see you making these and loving it. 
was right alongside JB and everybody down there in the south. So these are going to go in a really hot oven. And when that bacon is done and crispy, everything's done. It doesn't have to go any further than that because the shrimp are going to be cooked through. And the bacon's going to keep them nice and moist. <laughs> so I wanted to give you a view of these right out of the oven. These look fantastic. They're all crispy on top. The bacon's cooked through. The shrimp is done. Everything looks delicious. And what a great way to have some decadent shrimp with a little Cajun flair. So we're going to put this on a plate. I've got some uh, snow crab legs, a salad, cocktail sauce, and drawn butter, and we're going to get busy. So I'll be right back. So here's my end result of this, and I'm not going to take one of these shrimp or prawns off of Michael's plate. I'm going to grab my own, but that's his plate. We've got some snow crabs and drawn butter, homemade cocktail sauce, a salad, and these beautiful stuffed shrimp, and they've got andouille sausage, and they're wrapped in bacon, jalapeno, and Cajun seasoning. Mmm, -hmm. yum. Oh. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Absolutely ridiculous. These are so good. Mm -hmm. They're so full of flavor and just takes it up a notch. Mm -mm. Maybe I will have some butter because you never know. You might need it. I know I don't need any more spice. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Unreal. I hope this inspires you to go ahead and make this recipe and step outside the box if you haven't ever thought about anything like this. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll get notified whenever I upload a video. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> and as always, guys, I can't wait to see you next time for the next recipe.